Whew. Okay, today's gonna be a very uh, weird video. Hello everybody, my name is Scripps, my real human name is actually Nora, and I am a transgender woman. Now, if you're queer, or have any sort of queer friends, then you're probably very familiar with the sort of trials, tribulations, and overall kind of bad things and annoying things that come with being trans, but just in case you don't know, one of the big ones that at least a lot, a lot of transgender people have in common is that we suffer from something called gender dysphoria, which I could boil down to being uncomfortable comfortable with your gender and your body. And for a lot of us, knowing what it's like actually being comfortable in your body and like liking what you see in the mirror is actually a foreign experience to us. And even after having transitioned for quite a couple of years for me now, that is still an experience that I experience kind of rarely. <laughs> Which is what leads me to VR chat. The game that I have had on my wish list for years, despite it actually being a free game. I have been terrified of trying to see myself in VR as like a, a feminine model. It sounds like a very, very small thing to most people, but to me, it's an incredibly big deal and it has literally kept me from trying VR till this day. But now I finally will because I'm borrowing my roomie's headset. Oh God, I'm curious to see how this will work. But yeah, I'm gonna borrow this damn thing. Uh, I'm gonna try wearing it. And I'm going to try to explore the VR world of VR chat. And once we finally get to like the, the big step that I'm really scared of, yeah, then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a look at myself in the mirror with like, I don't know, a female character model if I can find one. I actually don't know how it works, but I just hope there's like some free models available or something. Oh my God, look at that. So weird. Oculus, it's an old Oculus. Okay, so this is gonna be weird because uh, I need to figure out how to even set up all this stuff in the first place. Crap. Do these things not have batteries in them or something? Gosh, these are so weird. How am I even, how am I even supposed to hold these? Like this? Oh yeah, that actually makes sense. Why is it round though? All right, so that took a while, but I've got it all set up now. It's not as plug and play as I thought, but after a while, I finally got the setup done. So, okay, let's try opening VR chat because that's the one I've been really wanting to try a lot. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to go in. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go in. <laughs> I'm going in. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna disable the camera for this part because I'm a little nervous and also I feel I look very stupid. I also forgot to record VR chat for a few minutes, making me look even more stupid. Oh, wow, I also get it. I wanna like, oh. <gasps> Shit. Oh my god! No, I'm not ready. No, 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 I'm not ready. Hold on, please, please. I'm not. Can we take a break for like two seconds? Please. Um, dumb YouTuber here fucking forgot. Yeah, you can't see anything. There you go. Look, I'm a little, I'm a little funny character. And it looks like I'm sitting. What if I stand? Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I I'm not ready. Thank god it's just a bird character. Oh my god, I have hands. I have hands. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's just say I'm ready to go. Uh, oh boy. Oh, what? This is much better. Oh, I get it. Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, okay, I get it. People can get motion sick. Oh, whoa. Whoa, why does that snap like that? Oh yeah, I guess it's because I don't need it. I can turn around. Oh, I wanna go cozy. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm scared. I can't see anything. Is my recording still going? Everything's nerve-wracking and new. Oh, whoa, whoa. Welcome to Midnight Rooftop. Whoa. Verified furry? Verified furry? What is this? Make new furrins. <laughs> what the hell? What are you talking about? In this exact moment, I remembered I have social anxiety and I'm playing a social game. Oh, you're completely new to this game, aren't you? Oh yeah, I'm com yeah, oh, yeah I'm completely new. I've, I, I'm new to VR, actually. I'm j I've just sat down for the first time. <laughs> Welcome to the shit show VR chat. Oh yeah, you gonna, you gonna meet all the e-girls? Like oh yeah, absolutely. Especially for this world, mm -hmm. you might want to start turning on people's avatars, unless you got a strong computer. <laughs> I have never started sweating faster. Oh my God, that caught me so off guard. 
I was not ready. Okay, okay, let's take it at our own pace, fucking shall we, okay? And now I know at least, now, I have, now I'm warned. Okay, uh, minor panic attack over, we are ready to go back in. This is gonna be such a, like, cut compilation disaster because half of it is just me looking at stuff, not wondering. Okay, but I wanna go, I wanna go explore a bit. Uh, I'm very afraid, very afraid. So that's mic muted, so there's a mic mute button, that's actually very nice. Could have used that before? Thank you. <gasps> oh, look at that! Don't tell me that isn't cool. Oh my god, that's so cool! Look at it! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go into this one, just because it has a trans flag, and we're sticking to the theme, baby. Now for this part, I will mostly be narrating from after I've recorded this video, and the reason for that is, I honestly just didn't really say much. Apparently, even though I've been talking to my audience through a camera all these years, then it has not prepared me a single bit to actually look at, talk to, and interact with complete strangers. Hi! I know I'm muted, uh, I just want to say you look very peaceful. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, I need to be careful because there I need to censor some stuff. But it was still really fun seeing the world and getting to learn how VR socializing works, even if this time I was only exploring it as a mute. Okay, so I'm back home. It took me exactly two seconds to learn uh, how and why this is a bit of a shit show. I want to explore worlds. I want to try... Ah, uh, what, what, what? there must be some cozy worlds, right? I quickly learned that there are a lot of the popular, entirely public worlds that can get quite overwhelming depending on the crowd that's there. There's some filled with a lot of young kids, a lot of very oversized avatars, and then there's also people who just really, really like to spam so many particles that it makes my PC sound like it's a helicopter about to take off. But those were mostly just a couple of bad eggs in the mix of it, as I found most of the places to actually be really chill. People were relaxing, physically sitting a lot of the time, and just chatting and talking about deep stuff amongst themselves. Hi. That was actually one of the only times my presence was even noticed. I did get a bit of a clicky vibe going on with a lot of the groups that I stumbled on, and you could definitely tell that there were some of the people there who were just outright kind of cooler than others. Took me right back to the feeling of looking at cool kids table in high school. Ooh. I, I can tell this must be like the cool people group, right? They have like, look at their models. They're so cool. I, I know that there's like invisible mode, so I know that I'm probably on invisible mode for them. But they seem cool. I'm unworthy. I'll go back down. But honestly, a lot of them were quite nice and welcoming when you reached out to them. I'm drinking coffee in VR! And oh most God, of all, I was just gorgeous. honestly stunned by the sheer look of all these different worlds in VR. It's not like the highest graphics thing ever, but there's just something about the scale of it. <gasps> Hi! Being able to actually physically go up to something and look at it way up close is one of the coolest gaming experiences that I've had as of late. And I'm just so happy I got to be along for the ride. <sighs> God, that's gorgeous. This game's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Like, I can literally just walk up and see that. That's so weird. This game is so crazy. Like the amount of things you can do in it and how, I don't know, like I've been here for a while. I've been playing this for like an hour now. Um, and it's not anywhere, people have said it's like nauseating to play. To me, it's not at all. It's actually very nice and I enjoyed a lot. People are weird because of course, that's what people are gonna be when they have an avatar and they can be anonymous and just join random worlds. But other, other than that, this is really fun. I, I'm still not a master at navigating or anything, so I don't know how to navigate exactly. Uh, I can only find like a semi amount of public worlds, but I don't know, I'll, I'll figure that out later. Uh, I know a bunch of people who do this sort of stuff, so okay. Now, now we're getting to the a little bit of the scary part. Oh god, that's what I've been looking like this whole time. Talk to all these people. Hi! I kind of like this avatar. It's kind of cute. Oh Jesus! In terms of avatars, then I didn't really have any knowledge about how to get any more of them at first, so all I had to pick between in this homeworld were the limited public ones VR chat had picked out for me, of which there just weren't that many that I felt would fit me. But nonetheless, then I finally got my dream, and I got to see myself as an anime woman. Whoa, what the fuck? And it was very, very weird. I just spent a lot of time looking at myself in silence as I tried to move my hands around to associate myself with the character more. 
I noticed the avatar's shoulders were actually a little more upturned, meaning that when I touched my own, quite honestly, slim hips, then the character didn't just clip through theirs, but they actually touched their own as well. And it was just really nice, feeling for once like, I don't know, I just had a bit more figure. And I don't mean this in a gross way, but it was also really nice being able to properly look down at your own body and not just experiencing it through a mirror. Now after this, I started to get into a bit of research because I was honestly itching just to try out some more avatars. So that led me to this world, which supposedly had a built-in search engine for over a million of them. I immediately decided that I wanted to investigate, and surely enough, this world was incredible to explore. The avatars weren't actually ranked or anything, so all you could do was simply search a name and hope an avatar that you would like would pop up. And I believe one of my terms were actually just basic as anime girl. But surprisingly, then even that silly short description led me to finding some really incredible models, including this one. I must legitimately have looked at this avatar for over 20 minutes. And I bet to most people, this one actually doesn't even look that great. It probably looks incredibly simple for someone who is used to VR chat. But it's the first one that I tried that had black hair and looked a bit like me if you squinted a bit, which just made it so much easier to connect with it. And don't laugh at me, the model also just had really pretty hands. In real life, my hands have always been one of my biggest sources of dysphoria. They feel big and burly even after years of HRT, and they were one of my strong masculine traits that my mom would keep pointing out to me ever since I became a teenager. I really don't like them, and unfortunately, then unlike other parts of your body, then it's just really hard to hide from your hands as they're almost always in view in some way or another. So being able to look to the ends of your arms and actually see really nice hands for once, it just hit harder than I actually thought that it would. Uh, uh, okay, um, oh god, where am I? I mean, I know this is just, it's a very, like, it's a such a norm, normal model. I've heard that there's like, um, what's, uh, oh, sorry. I've heard that there's like other types of uh, headsets that you can wear as well, where uh, it has like eye tracking and all kinds of stuff like that. Maybe, and honestly, maybe it's a bit of a blessing. <laughs> a bit of a blessing that I'm not wearing that right now because I'm, I'm not, it's it's like two in the afternoon and I'm not ready to have a, uh, I'm not ready to have a full on moment at 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. I mean. This model's really nice though. I know, it, I know it's Blake from Ruby, but um, it's just, I don't know. And honestly, in another world, uh, something like that, this wouldn't actually be too far off from what I could imagine it would have looked like, so. Yeah, it feels weird. Okay, so anyway, that's actually my first experience in VR. I I've been sitting here, honestly, doing this for like uh, a full, I don't even know how long. I, I haven't actually checked the time. I haven't had the headset off for like one and a half hours, but it's been a really nice like uh, experience trying this out. I'm really happy VR chat lived up to the expectation. I want to chat with a lot more people. Um, I also have very good friends that play a lot of VR chat and I'm really excited to just try this with, with them. I don't know, just spending more time in VR because this was really fun. But anyways, genuinely thank you all so much for watching. I'm trying to do my intro in VR. Uh, yeah, genuinely thank you all so much for watching this video. I know it was a bit of a weird one. I know it's probably caught together all weird because there was so much uh, silence and me doing nothing. But still, thank you so much for watching this till the very end. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.